Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. I have been experimenting with a tarp shelter for Field Day 2020. And one thing that occurred to me is that as a kid in the Boy Scouts, um, when I was a uh, more of a, an active runner doing races, uh, there was one item that we always carried with us. And it was typically a trash bag. And it would fold down and fit in your pocket. And for those of you who are not hikers or don't do races, the trash bag is a fantastic poor man's poncho. Um, so, for example, on race day, uh, typically the night before, what you would do is just take a regular, you know, black kitchen trash bag, and you cut out a small hole for your neck, and then two more for your arms, and you would just pop your arms through it, pop your head through it, and then race day, about five o'clock in the morning, depending on your area, if it was cold, um, you would have your normal running gear, uh, but the cool thing is you'd be nice and warm and insulated, and then when the race is about to start, you just ditch it, so there was no need to check a bag for like an extra jacket. Um, and then, you know, with the, with the Boy Scouts, with the Cub Scouts, um, we would always carry those in our pocket as well as a very quick way to uh, basically provide ourselves some protection against the elements. Uh, so long story short, I've been doing quite a bit of yard work around the house and uh, to kind of clear our property, um, I've been filling up all the yard waste in three mil uh, heavy contractor bags. And I thought, you know what? It's a little bit heavier, but it's certainly lighter than the tarp shelter that I've been using. I wonder if I do some modifications to it, whether I can actually uh, do a lean-to with it. Uh, so this morning, uh, I went ahead and uh, took a grommet kit that I just bought on Amazon. I'll put a link below. Uh, but they also have the kits available like at Harbor Freight for like $4.50. Uh, so buy it wherever it's cheaper. And uh, I decided to add four grommets, one to each of the four corners. And then I took a 550 paracord and I took four feet uh, segments and I'm keeping it permanently attached to two of the ends with a um, taut line hitch and then I have a taut line hitch at the end. Uh, so it rolls up into a nice little package about that big. It fits actually in a small sandwich size Ziploc bag. So very happy with it. I would say the only thing, um, you know, obviously in the video that you're seeing where it's not working out is that I'm a bit taller uh, than the top of the, the shelter system, but I'm not planning on having my chair with me, so I'll duck down quite a bit lower. Um, in fact, let's go ahead, try that out. Oh. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So um, right now the shelter isn't oriented um, the way I would like it. Uh, I have the sun on my east as it's rising right now. Uh, so all I would have to do is turn it so that um, I don't have, uh, basically I have the sun on my back. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm actually gonna experiment with it on um, Saturday. I think that's tomorrow. And I'm gonna do a trail run to a new area I haven't been before. And I just wanna get a feel for it. Um, I'm not gonna bring the trucking poles. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can actually find uh, some deadfall out there and uh, basically deploy it and I'll just probably put a 30 second uh, Instagram uh, video of that uh, to see if that works so at any rate guys um, you know I forgot my expression be strong be safe and be prepared